So in this video, I'm going to give you four tips if you are struggling, like you're just in a position where you want to make music, don't really know how, you haven't gotten started, or maybe you just got your DAW and you just don't know what you're doing. This isn't going to be a technical video, but it's going to be like practical advice that no one else on YouTube is going to give you. But you need to stick around to the end of this video because the last tip is going to be 100% the most important thing. Now remember, this advice is not going to be that typical advice on YouTube where they bring you an FL Studio and they just show you like oh use this EQ no it's not gonna be that kind of advice this is going to be actual practical advice that you should apply to your entire life if you want to dedicate your life around music this is for only the people who actually really care about making music so the first tip that I can give you is going to be for the person who just started FL like literally just launched it they don't know anything that they're doing the first thing that I can recommend for you is not to watch these boring YouTube videos and watch these fucking these um youtubers who are just trying to sell you things like don't don't watch it don't waste your time find a quality book that's actually going to dive through all of the details so one of the best books I'll put it on screen it's going to be pretty boring for you I know you're gonna watch you're going to want to watch YouTube and you're gonna want to indulge in just watching short-term like fucking enjoyable content but I promise you if you actually want to take it serious the best thing that you can do is just get a book and just read it front to back because it's going to actually explain in proper terms what you can do now I'm not trying to plug myself here but I also have something in the description that you can go and click if you want to learn from that where I teach you but like I said if you if you don't want to do that then I highly recommend you go and get a book one that you just think looks good like literally just pick one that you want to read books are a million times better than YouTube or you can just like I said get the thing that I said which is in the description but I'm not trying to like promote myself or anything now the second thing that I recommend is don't try to build your fan base yet bro just the truth is is that no one really cares about your music right now because it's just garbage bro you, you're going to need to take a year maybe two years to just settle down and just make music and just get good like get creative go outside of the box and just fucking learn different things learn new techniques just learn what what beats you like learn your style learn all of these different things these are going to be things that you develop as a you, as you develop as a person you're just going to get better at and then once you actually have found your sound and you could you know for a fact that it's good like you don't doubt yourself you're not having to ask other people if it's good like when you are certain you will know when it's good that's when you can start to dedicate more of your time to the marketing side and trying to build a fan base but i would say like pre two years you you really don't need to waste your time trying to build a fan base it's just gonna be a waste of time because truth is there's a lot of people who are better than you right now and there's nothing wrong with that but those people are the ones that are just gonna fucking dominate you you're better off spending your time just trying to make better music and fuck it who knows maybe you won't even make it that long and if you don't make it that long that's fine that just means that it wasn't for you bro it happens so the third thing is going to be don't waste your money on a shit ton of equipment especially in this phase where you're at i promise you it is not worth it to blow a fucking bag on like an amazing mic or an amazing interface or like fucking studio monitors or whatever like you don't need that shit especially if you're in your room the truth is is a lot of the sound that it makes it more professional is going to be from actual the treatment of your room it's not necessarily the microphone obviously if you have a good microphone it's going to help but my recommendation would be an at 2020s what i have right here and then a scarlet interface solo but it's like right here so you can see it i think it's the red thing on my fucking desk those are the only two things you need I'll, I'll just fucking put them in the description so you can get them and then i'll also put the link to the book yeah and now on to the most important thing the fourth thing is don't invest or don't invest i guess you could say don't buy vocal presets or something that is like a short-term way of getting better i promise you it is it's not dude it's not gonna do anything for you dog it's not gonna do anything for you dog they will make you sound good up front but it's actually a band-aid for the problem so you're gonna see these people on youtube who make how to sound like this person or how to sound like this person literally it's just a fucking ploy to get you to buy it and then think that it's gonna fix the mixing and it's gonna like they will try to indoctrinate you into believing that that's the way to get good at mixing and otherwise it's gonna take you way too long and this or this or this or this or whatever fucking ignore the noise bro you need to get good at mixing that is the only way around it you're going to have to take the fucking l with this one and just understand that it's going to take a 
a while. But then once you do get good, you actually unlock a lot of privilege around things. So for example, you can do what I do where you teach others your journey and you can sell stuff like I do and make a lot of money from that. You can also sell mixing and mastering services and then if you wanted to go that route you could sell vocal presets and make money from it because you know how to mix but then also you can just make good music you don't have to rely on this file and then you don't have to keep buying different ones and different ones and different ones you actually understand what you're doing and it's insanely helpful it's just a skill that you need to have like there's no shortcut to it, I promise you. I mean, yeah, as like a bonus tip, I would say just fucking quit watching YouTube and TikTok and just go make music. Like, just dedicate your life to it. Just every waking hour, you should be thinking of new lyrics, like writing down lyrics. Have a fucking notepad around and just sit for like an hour. It's gonna drive you insane, but just sit and write lyrics for an hour. Write different words that you could add or like find a random beat and just fucking hum over it and write like multiple songs over that song and just keep at it, bro.